What's up guys, it's your girl Check here and I'm back with another video. Today's video is a does it really work though for the Neutrogena Hydro Boost mask. I think this is like a jelly mask or like a sheet mask from what it feels like on the inside. But I haven't done these, doesn't really work those in a minute on like a face skincare product. So I'm kind of excited to do this one here. I've had this for a while and I think I just picked it up at Walmart. So it's fast and easy. If you have dry skin, I'm sure this is probably something you would want to try because it's for hydration. But lately my skin has just had some dry patches here and there. Even though it looks amazing, honey. It's been looking pretty good. <laughs> Gang. But I am just going to hop right into the video. I'm going to tell you guys what this is supposed to do, what its claims are, its claim to fame. And I'm going to tell you how to use it and all that extra. So let's just hop right into this right now. It says that this mask is made out of a unique 100% hydrogel material. So I'm assuming that this is more of like a jelly material here. Um, it contours your skin and seals in the formula for optimal absorption to deliver clinically proven results. And it's supposed to leave your skin soft and hydrated and supple. Those are its claims. That's all it really says about like what it's supposed to do. But it says for the best results, apply to your face. Leave on for 15 to 30 minutes after cleansing and before you apply your serum to give your skin an extra boost in hydration. So right now I've already washed my face and um, I did moisturize already, but like it didn't really say not to moisturize first. It just said to use it before applying your serum. I don't really know what serum they're talking about. This didn't really come with a separate thing that says serum, unless it's on the inside or something. But I'm not gonna wash my face again because it didn't say not to moisturize. So these steps on this say, um, cleanse your face, peel white film back from the mask sheet and discard. Place hydrogel down on face for 15 to 30 minutes, remove the mask and massage remaining product onto your face and neck. Okay, so this is not a product where you need to um, wash your face after, which I'm happy for because I already did my edges and all that. I'm not trying to do all that extra. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the back here, just so you see what it looks like. And the front says that it instantly quenches skin, deeply hydrates and leaves skin supple and hydrated. Those are some more claims, I guess. Kind of the same thing it said on the back, but I'm just going to go right in and already just open it. Well, the white film kind of just slid off the product itself, so. Okay, so this piece I just took off here is the mouthpiece. So I'm just going to unfold it and go ahead. I guess you put it over your lips too, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the bottom half of my face. And as you guys can see, it is a jelly material. And here's the upper half of your face. A lot of, um, product is dripping off of it. Okay, so I'm just going over all these little areas and flattening the mask onto my face. It does flatten pretty nicely, which was one of the things they said. On the back of the package. And now that that's done, I'm just going to go onto my phone here and set timer. It says 15 to 30 minutes. So I am just going to go 22 minutes. I'm just gonna stick right in the middle there. So we're gonna do 22 minutes. And 
the waiting game begins. And now that the time is up, I can finally take the mask off. It stayed on pretty nicely the whole time I was waiting. The package said to massage the rest of the product into your skin. It does feel very nice and cooling. I feel like I look less shiny than I did earlier, which is strange because this is a hydro mask. Oh my gosh, my skin is so soft though. Feels like baby skin. Okay. <laughs> Girl, look how cute my, okay. All right. Yeah, I think I really like this product actually. It feels really good. My skin is really soft and it looks really clear and shiny. Not like shiny like, girl, you oily shiny. Just like a cute little glow, you see that? Okay, <laughs> gang. Yeah, I really like it. Um, The one thing I didn't like about the mask itself, and it could have just been this mask that got frazzled or something, but like the bottom part of the mask that was like right above my lip was very jagged like maybe they didn't cut it like smoothly or something but it was very sharp and it kept like sliding onto my lip and irritating my lips so i had to cut a little bit of it away so that it wouldn't like irritate my lips anymore and it felt like forever honestly because it kept bothering my lip but otherwise i really liked um the overall experience like my skin feels great actually makes me want to do my makeup okay so i might just go ahead and do that but for this video that is it today thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe share this video with all your friends because it means so much to me when you guys do that and make sure to follow me on snapchat twitter and instagram all that will be left in the description below and i will definitely definitely see you guys in the next one